you've more than likely heard of Displate. It is a company that sells printed aluminium metal posters at a really high quality. Now these start here in the UK at £39. But what do you do if you can't afford that price point and you still want to get something similar to put up in your room? Well, I think I've got you covered here as I've managed to pick up six different versions for four to five pound from Timu. Yes, it is from Timu, but stuff like this, sometimes you can get some really good quality because this is a tenth of the cost of this plate. Now, before I get fully into this, of course, I am not dissing this plate at all. They are a premium brand and I think the price point that they put on for their products is definitely reasonable. This is just an alternative for people who just don't have that budget in order to spend £40 on one poster. In that same breath, you can get these ones and you get six of these I paid for less than 30. So I just want to give people options that are out there. This is what this channel does a lot and checks out stuff from AliExpress, Wish, Timo and all that. To find something that you can buy, hopefully at good quality or a decent enough quality at a lower budget when you just don't have that kind of money to spend. This is why I bought these six aluminium poster prints to take a closer look at. So let's get into it. So the first thing we'll fully look up onto here as I put this all up on screen is the overall quality of the print. Now I think the image they've used on this is not the greatest as in I can read all the text that is on there but it is definitely a little bit blurry so they've sort of used a smaller or lower quality image and scaled that up. Print wise I don't have any really issues with the print. It's definitely been a direct to item print kind of thing. Same sort of got me like the mobile phone cases and stuff that I've had before, which are still going strong here, as you can see here. And of course, I will link that video up here if you want to check out the phone cases I got from AliExpress. It's been over a year and the case is still going really well. Overall quality though, I'm really actually quite happy with this. I think this looks quite nice, but we'll find some places to see where they go. But for the first one, since I love bleach and love Ichigo, I think that's really cool. It's a shame about the color. I would have loved for, I don't know, maybe a red one. Because, of course, with the red on his, uh, on his hollow mask stuff like that, the red might have been a lot better. That's just number one. Second one here, we've got Asuka from Evangelion. This is actually one of two I have got from Evangelion. Because I want to see some of the differences between them as well, which I'll show you in a moment. This, of course, is a full colour print all the way around. As you can see, there's nothing really on the back, just a solid metal. And this one, yes, again... Image quality slightly lower, but this also could be the print quality not quite there. There is still a lot of detail in this. I can still see all the different lines on her suit and on the mecha as well. Eva Unit 2, I believe it is, isn't it? Yeah, and so you see, I still see a lot, a little detail on there. The colours still pop quite a lot, but one thing I've noticed straight away with all of, well, yeah, more or less all of these, I still all kind of have it, is I've tried to do this kind of rusted look around the side of it all. So kind of like it's been rusted away and some of the colors gone and it went off which kind of goes also in you can see it here it goes into the different sections as well it's kind of a nice style but i think it also could have just been better just going the full width and just ignore that kind of rusty kind of look because it's never going to be perfect or something like this and you want it to look a bit more smarter and cleaner maybe a controversial one because i know if you're from the uk it's a little sort of line is a little bit like mom might either love it or you hate it i've loved it i've always, I've always kind of loved sword online and of course we got Kirito there. Even with this essentially full colour print, you can still see down the sides here, they do have that kind of effect of where it's going to be wearing away a little bit. And you can see it more there across the top. This is the first one I can see. I don't know if you will be able to see. There is actually a dent here. I don't know if you might be able to see it more from the back if I turn it around a little bit. I don't know if you can see that little dent. But I'll try to get a little photo of that as well. So it's something has kind of knocked into it to be fair the box i got with them screws in they had three of these plates one side the box in the middle and three the other side so it could have just been over the time of going through the postage of the box getting caught in that way and like knocking into it but so far i think kirito is definitely my favorite i think this is absolutely awesome i've got a friend who sorry really like that other one as well the eva unit one we now move on chainsaw man and power this one is definitely disappointing Hopefully you'll be able to see that straight away. Just look at the quality of the image. They've definitely ripped this directly off. I think it was just one of the uh, volume two of the manga. They've definitely just ripped that straight off somewhere on the internet. I think that's obvious enough that someone like, took a really low quality photo of it because it is pixelated to hell. It's definitely been scaled up a lot more from a smaller image. 
and this always happens when you do stuff like that which is a shame because colors again are actually quite decent the print quality overall for this kind of thing is good as well it's not top notch and it but it is passable for sure so i think it's obvious to say that the quality does vary slightly it all depends on the image now i got this one because i was quite shocked at the fact that this one was actually out the anime was still running at the time i didn't think it was gonna be that popular but with crunchyroll of course taking off all the comments it's hard to see what's really going on in it uh, and this is from failure frame i actually quite enjoyed the series it's uh i didn't like some of the, the mixture between normal and self-shading it didn't quite meld very well with that and some of the cg versions of it but overall it was i think it was a pretty decent series and i kind of hope that it does get the second series because i really want well spoiler alert kind of thing just in case i really want to see this person get her ass kicked yeah i really want to see that happen but there's a lot of detail in here lots of colors it's popping quite a lot this is definitely one of the better ones for the print and as they go with this kind of rusted effect they seem to kind of do it for this one as more of like a blood rusted effect that's what it seems to be which kind of goes hand in hand with this series itself i really do like that one i think that one stands out nice it's not really going to work in here maybe i could put it at the back of a shelf or something standing up i'm not too sure but i really just wanted to see that because i was curious since of course it's quite new out very last one i do actually like and this is the second evangelion one again i think it was just slightly disappointing that the overall quality of the image that they've used was just not that great but i think the overall look and the style of it i think works really well this was just the like slight tints of the kind of dark magenta if going into like a red tone on it really works well it's a shame i anything about the quality because if there was a slightly higher quality you would be able to read this this corner is unfortunately slightly bent but some of that's not too bad once you put if you put it on the wall and you screw it in it will like even itself out anyway but i really do like that one i think there's a good chance i'm gonna put this one up i'm gonna put kirito up and i might find a place for ichigo i'm not too sure i might wait to get something else so that is all six of them i'll do a recap here for all the prices i paid for them and of course the total cost with shipping whatever it's going to be on top of it so you get an idea of what i paid now i think overall this is pretty decent yes if i saved another like 10 pound i could have got one directly from display it. and i would i would definitely get a display one but i'd rather get one of the bigger ones as well these itself are about a4 size do i think it's worth it if you find the right image and the find the right one right one for you and get some of them kind of screw covers somebody recommended something from one of your more local diy stores so it won't cost you that much either to get them but i think these could look very well in the right setup and displayed in the right way and of course saving you a fortune if you've seen any products you would like us to test out and check out and see what they're like from other places such as sheen when i've done the dragon ball one for a subscriber up here please let me know down in the comments below and when you're down there go on make sure you like and subscribe and click the notification bell because it'll keep you updated on future videos like this my name is me daniel this has been twisted geek hope you have an awesome week cheers